Next up, multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. Now, I know that last assignment probably really freaked you out, or really bothered you. This one actually is quite easy. Because as long as, when, when we're multiplying by powers of 10, meaning tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, that kind of thing, it's just a matter of moving the decimal place. That's all it is. So if you have 6.75 times 10, obviously when you multiply by a, a, a number that's bigger than 1, you know it's going to get bigger. So we know that this can get bigger. How much bigger? Well, there's this quick and simple rule when you're multiplying by these special powers of 10, or any power of 10. You move the decimal the same number of spots as there are zeros. So 6.75 times 10 is the same thing as saying, well, we're going to move this, because there's one zero, we're going to move this one spot to the right. Move the decimal one spot to the right. So one zero, one spot over, we're going to move it. And it'll give us 67.5. Simple as that. Done. What would this be? 6.75 times 100. Well, there's two zeros, so we'll move it two spots. One, two. So 6.75 times 100 becomes, move it two spots over, 675. This one here, hopefully you're actually going faster than I'm, than I'm talking about this. You should be able to fly through this now. Three spots, threes, sorry, sorry, three zeros. So we move it three spots over, one, two, Three. That extra spot gets filled in with the zero. So we'll have six, seven, five, and that extra spot gets filled in with the zero. Six thousand seven hundred fifty. Four zeros, four spots over. One, two, three, four. Two little bumps there, that means it'll be two zeros at the end. Six, seven, five, zero, zero. Hey, if you don't believe me, try it on your calculator. That's the power of multiplying by powers of 10. What do you think this story would be when you're dividing by powers of 10? Like that. Well, when you're dividing, usually, and in this case it's true, the answer gets smaller. When you're dividing by numbers that are greater than 1. So, in this case, similar rule, but a little bit different. We have one zero, so we'll move the decimal one spot. But which direction do you think we'll move it in? To the right, to make it bigger, or to the left, to make it smaller? When you're dividing by numbers that are bigger than one, you get smaller. So we should move it actually in the smaller direction, to the left. One zero, one spot smaller. So we'll move it one spot that way. That makes our number .675. You can leave it like that. It is neater though if you put a zero in front. Just to avoid it getting confused with a period in a sentence or something like that. Alright, here, two zeros, two spots. There's an extra bump there, so you'll have point zero six seven five. And again, it's good to have the zero in the front. Just to protect that decimal so it doesn't get lost. Now this. Is this a wild and crazy question? You're thinking, oh my god, I thought we were done fractions. Why do we have to do this again? Fractions are just divided by questions. That's all they are. This is just saying 6.75 divided by 1,000. That's all fractions are. They're just a whole bunch of dividing questions. So we're dividing by a big number, so it's going to get smaller. One, two, three spots. Sorry, th three zeros in the question, so we should move this three spots. One, two, three. Fill that up with zeros we'll get point zero zero six seven five and again put a zero in front to protect that decimal this here four spots because of the four zeros there one two three four that's a zero there a zero there a zero there so we'll put point zero 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 six seven five and again put the zero in front to protect it okay that's straightforward when you multiply by numbers that are bigger than 1. What if you multiply and divide by decimal numbers, numbers that are less than 1, multiplying by tenths? 
and hundredths and thousandths. Well, it's the exact opposite. When multiplying by tens, hundreds, thousands, it got bigger. But when you're multiplying by tenths, hundredths, thousandths, it actually gets smaller. So we're not going to follow the same rules we did for multiplying by tens. We're actually going to follow the same rules we did for dividing by tens. The answer actually gets smaller. If you don't believe me, do it on a calculator. 6.75 times 0.1 is what, here's what you would get. Well, here's how you do it. First, how many decimal spots do we have to move this over to make it a whole number? One. One spot. One spot, we will have to move this. And now we've established that it's getting smaller, so we're going to have to move this one spot in the smaller direction. So the answer is going to be 0 0.675. You can think of it that way, or kind of a not as reliable way to do this is, again, look at how many zeros are in the decimal. One zero, one spot. Because we're multiplying by tenths, it's going to get smaller, so in the smaller direction. The reason why I say it's not reliable is because some people don't like to put the zero in front to protect the decimal, like we did up here. So um, just be aware of that. Here, I guess let's we'll follow the easy way about the zero with the zeros. We have two zeros, so we'll move it two spots to the left. The zero will end up there. You'll end up getting 0 0.0675. And again, a zero in front to protect it. Here we have three zeros, we'll move it, three spots, one, two, three, boom, boom, and you should get point zero zero six seven five. and don't forget the protector zero. So either way, either you realize that uh, uh, to figure out how many decimals we move it over, um, how many spots we have to move it to make it a whole number, in this case one, or we have here we have to move it two spots to make it a whole number, or just count the number of zeros, two. That'll tell you how many spots to move the decimal over. Just remember, when you're multiplying by numbers that are less than one, it actually gets smaller. 6.75 became 0.675. What do you think is going to happen when you divide by tenths? When you divide it by tens, hundreds, thousands, it got smaller. But when you divide by tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, it's actually going to get bigger. So the same rule, one zero, one spot though in the bigger direction, it's 67.5. Two zeros, two spots in the bigger direction, to the right, 675. Three zeros, three spots in the bigger direction, one, two, three, a little zero in there, six, seven, five, zero, six thousand seven hundred fifty. There you go. Okay, here's your STQs. Good luck with that. Talk to you later. Bye.